Hey guys, got another video update on the Thunder Tiger, the Toyota Hilux. Uh, I went ahead and fixed up the LEDs on it. I got the upper LEDs mounted. The, uh, the light buckets were already there for it and it was ready for LEDs. All I had to do is drill the hole for the wire right there and be able to run my LEDs to it and just kind of hit all the wires. And then I, um, I drilled holes in the headlights and I put those the aluminum uh, LED mounts on it, which they kind of stick out a little bit. And uh, that's okay. That's the only way you can really get by with doing it unless I had a different kind of mount. And I did the same thing on the rear. And it looks like that. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it in, in the comments. Um, we're going to go ahead and drive it around a little bit like that. I got it run on a 2S LiPo, 2200 milliamp, a uh, little 20C. It's going to be really nice uh, at night. Uh, these are pretty bright LEDs. So it's basically complete, a complete build now. Uh, if I decide to keep these tires and rims on here, I'm gonna test a few more wheels out on it. Other than that, this is basically it. I will test it out on 3S again. I haven't tried it with the steel gears on 3S. But it's been running so good on 2S, I really haven't had a reason to upgrade to 3S yet. Um, and I took the uh, the red and there's red and black wires to all your LEDs. I took a sharpie to all the red wires to kind of camouflage them and make them all black. These are really bright. It's going to be really cool at night. I can unplug them anytime I want if I don't want to use them during the day. But as you can see, I camouflaged all the LEDs. I thought it looked a whole lot better that way. It did. It kind of the red kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. I didn't like seeing that red wires. I really, really like this this uh, whole the Thunder Tiger. Now Thunder Tiger, the company, um, from what I understand. They are the parent company to Team Associated. That's why this Thunder Tiger here is the, if I take the, the body off, it's the exact same thing as the Team Associated CR12s. Like the Tioga and the Ford F-150 that Team Associated makes, the CR12. Wow, it looks cool with some the tail lights in it. That's a great trail truck. I'm definitely wanting to take this out on a few night runs. I just, I love the CR12 chassis and just the whole setup. I just like it. It's a nice little platform that you can upgrade upgrade and it doesn't cost a lot of money to upgrade them it's a great beginner platform
But yeah, with these uh, CR12 tires, they got a little bit better clearance, I've noticed, than the stock Thunder Tiger tires. Right, guys i was just shooting you out an update video letting you see the led d's i installed on it and uh maybe you can get some ideas on yours this is what you can do if you don't have uh, led light buckets you can always get these mounts like this they're like a steel i think they're aluminum um little mount and on the back side is just a, a screw that locks in place to um with a um a lock washer and uh, I think they look pretty good, especially for not having uh, light buckets at all. It's a very good alternative. Of course, I kept the decals above them just for looks. And let me know your thoughts on the comments section. If you guys like the way it looks and if you, if you do like it, give me a thumb, uh, hit the like, like button for me. It does help my channel, and plus it lets me know if you guys like this build. But all right, guys. I appreciate everything. And as always, thank you for everything.